welcome or welcome back to my channel being Louisa. If you watched my last video, you'll notice I am wearing the exact same shirt, hairstyle and makeup. And if you didn't watch my last video, the shirt is OK Baby merch. It says Oscar, Kara, Levi and Alea. But yeah, that just came in today. So of course I'm wearing it because, you know, gotta represent. Anyway. <laughs> So I am wearing the same stuff because I am feeling semi-decent, I have been feeling ill lately so I thought let me just whack out a bunch of videos and stay on top of things. I am actually mushing together two requested videos. Those things on my face by the way is light reflection from somewhere, I don't know where. Anyway, so they're basically the same questions done differently. So the first one was requested by Caitlin and it was to go through my folders and discuss the classroom side of the course. And now I have what, five folders up there? I only actually have used two and that's pushing it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because a lot of things these days are done online. So, are you kidding me? Uh, sorry about that interruption of my fire alarm. I had to go outside for about half an hour and line up for no reason. And the reason why I reacted so like, ugh, because it's been going off so much lately. This is about the fourth time this week alone that the fire alarm's gone off. Lucky I've only been here for three of them, but still. It's annoying, it's enough is enough. Like this fire alarm, like, ugh. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm not gonna show you what's in my folders just because a lot of things are done online these days. How do you think it's on like paperback? You can get the slides online before lectures, except they stopped doing that for some subjects, so I just couldn't get them. So I just wrote loads of handwritten notes as well, so I will also show you what's inside there. But yeah, and then Bulletproof Two Moons suggested to see the type of content that we learn and to look through my notes that go alongside it. So yeah, I thought, mush these two videos together and see what we come up with, so. So, notebook number one is a tiny one. So this one is my skills notebook. Just just basically things that we learned. So the first thing we learned was infection prevention and universal precautions. Then moving and handling, vital signs, how long to do things for, for vital signs, and what you're looking out for. So like with the pulse, you're not just looking for how many beats you can feel, but also the rhythm of the pulse and stuff like that. Your analysis and fluid balance. We had an introduction to medicines management, um, then antenatal abdominal examination, so just palpations and what you're feeling, what you're observing, and then some stuff for our OSCEs was in that notebook. So the next one is this book, and this one is says clinical skills. But this one's actually about my pad, so the midwifery professional assessment document and like the rules and stuff and what we can and can't do for the pad, so. And then like there's some random like just notes. So the beginning part was stuff that I'm not really gonna show you because that's to do with the pad, you can find that stuff online. And then we've got stuff like what to look out for, what to ask in booking appointments. Physiology of first labour, but this day I had to leave early so I don't have a lot on that page. And yeah, that's all that's in that book. I feel like I'm wasting the paper by separating stuff, but I thought I'd be writing more notes, let's be honest, okay? Then I have a book that has stuff for breastfeeding, which I thought was pretty cool and like it was such an informative day. So yeah. And do you know what? I've decided I'm gonna change the folders because I'm in that type of mood. Plus I thought I would have more stuff to show you in the books, but I don't because I literally hardly write notes anymore, I guess. In folder one, we have anatomy and physiology. So yeah, so it's anatomy and physiology. The first one's respiration. I've put them all in plastic wallets, so I'm just gonna flip through them. But so respiration we did, gastrointestinal system we did. Okay, I don't actually write a lot of notes on the first pages, but you know, I actually, Inside this, there are loads of notes. Renal system we did, pelvic floor and pelvis we did, which was so hard. Oh my gosh, it was so much effort, so much work. Loads of notes in this one. Lot to learn. <laughs> Next one was the female reproductive system and menstrual cycle. And that's what I kind of got in that one, surprisingly. I thought I had way more in there. But yeah, so that's what I have in that one. My second folder, which looks exactly like the first one. This one has other things more to do with childbirth. First one is care and labor, then it's mechanisms of labor. And then it's the third stage, which is the placenta and all that. I have some notes that I typed up, which were like neonatal screening notes. Neonatal screening notes, you can see some of my notes. Then I have development and function of the placenta, physiology, oh, this is the word, coming up, because I'm from this part last, like last, but anyway, coming up, I'm going to talk about a word that I can't say. This is the word, 
physiology of this period this is a time period for after birth whatever that word says i can't pronounce it save my life that is what i was talking about in like the six week period after giving birth but yeah so that's what is in that folder but since i'm on anatomy and physiology i thought i would show you some of the books that they suggested we read so the first one is by the way, these are from the library, hence why they look the way they look. And this one is an old copy anyway. But this is Essential Anatomy and Physiology in Maternity Care. This is an old edition, there is a newer edition, but by the time I took this book out, they had all gone. So, you know, shame on me for being so late. But the old version did me good. I got more than half in my Anatomy and Physiology multiple choice exam, which is awesome, and that's all because of this book. And what I love about this book is that it will tell you about whatever topic you're doing. So, let's say endocrine system, because... <laughs> I spent a lot of time on the endocrine system and that's really important. That's your hormones. If you don't know what endocrine system is, it's the hormones. Which, I'll show you this page. Can you see it? There we go. Those boxes basically tells you what they have in this section. That box shows you what is in the chapter. And what I really loved is that, it's like for each chapter, it tells you the different parts that make up that system. And then at the end, it links it to the anatomy and physiology of a pregnant person. So it says physiological changes through the childbearing years. So it'll tell you like, at like antenatally when you're pregnant and then what happens during labor and then what happens afterwards um so in the period i can't actually, can't actually say that period in the six week period after you give birth i can't say that word but there's a word for that period so i'm for the p um and then it also tells you about the changes in the neonate so i really love that about this book it is really good the way it just goes through and tells you all these cool things that you need to know and stuff like that i'm so sorry the light has just changed completely my room now is dark but anyway second book you're told to read which every potential student midwife or student midwife knows about is miles midwifery so i have miles right here I believe it's the old copy. I can't remember. No, I think this is the newest Miles, but there's a new maze that I just don't have because I don't have money and this is the only one that I could get in the library. Well, there's an old maze in the library, but I didn't like that one. And I like this one. So I got the Miles Midwifery. That's what I have. This one is a bit more in depth and it's not as cool as the other book where... Actually, well, it does talk about like changes during childbearing years and stuff like that, but the other one tells you at the end of each chapter, which is really cool. This one, there's a lot more to go through, as you can tell, a lot more. I'll show you the comparison actually. Look at the comparison. There's a lot more to go through in the miles, but it is really good. It's more intense. You can use this for first, second, and third year. It's a really good book. If you have the money to invest in it, invest in it or do it me and grab it up as soon as you can at the beginning of the year and never give it back. Obviously renew it so that they know you haven't stopped on it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and yeah, I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry it's so long. I thought this would be way shorter, but obviously not. I was wrong. And in the meantime, keep on being you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with any questions or suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates. Bye, y'all.